We accept your apology, Mr. Claudius. But what about Mr. Francis and Miss Wagoner? You stole their parrots, and you tied Mr. Francis up. And, well, that's breaking several laws. I shall try to make it up to them. But let me explain, and perhaps you will understand. John Silver was playing a joke on me, you see. You knew Mr. Silver? Mm, about two years ago, I employed John Silver in my business of buying and selling rare objects of art in England. Silver was highly educated, but very eccentric, as you will realize. One day he paid a lot of money for a very ordinary picture of two parrots on a branch. I lost my temper. I called him a fool, and I discharged him. Silver told me that he was sure the parrots were painted on top of an older, much more valuable painting, and he was right. When he cleaned off the picture of the parrots, there was an absolutely lovely little picture of a shepherdess tending a baby lamb. It was obviously by a great painter, and worth several hundred thousand dollars. Gee, whiskers! Now we come to the unfortunate part of the story. John Silver said, as I, as I had discharged him, the picture belonged to him. I said, as he had bought it while in my employ, it was mine. He offered to share it with me. That sounds fair. After all, he found it. <laughs> it was fair. But Claude does fly off the handle if anyone opposes him. Yes, I threatened him with arrest. So he took the picture and left the country. I didn't know where. He came to California and stayed with Carlos's uncle, Ramos. It must have been the picture he had in the flat metal box. He called it a piece of the rainbow, with a pot of gold at the end. <laughs> An excellent description. It's a beautiful painting. At last I received a letter from Silver saying that when I read it, he would be dead. It also explained that he had trained six parrots and a minor bird, each to repeat a message. I was to come to America and pay Mr. Sanchez a thousand dollars for the birds. Then I must make them speak and solve the riddle of their message before I could find my lost shepherdess. I guess it was his way of punishing you for the way you treated him. Exactly. But no harm would have been done, except that I was away when his letter arrived, so that by the time I got to America, Mr. Sanchez had already sold the parrots. Now I have to find all the parrots and solve the message before Eugene. Yes, Eugene found out about the picture, and he's on our trail. He'll stop at nothing. So that's why you stole Mr. Frentis's parrot. Yes, but it's all been for nothing. I have five of the seven birds, but I know only the message Mr. Silver taught Billy Shakespeare. The rest won't talk for me. They won't speak, and they act as if they never will. Well, Mr. Claudius, I think we can help you. If you promise to pay Mr. Sanchez the thousand dollars when you recover your picture. Of course. I always intended to do that. Great. Now, we know what Billy Shakespeare says. Miss Wagner told us what Little Bo Peep says. We overheard what Scarface says, and we've got Blackbeard back at our headquarters. He talks like anything. But that still leaves Robin Hood, Sherlock Holmes, and Captain Kidd, who just sit there not saying a word. Perhaps if we wrote down what we knew, it would make more sense. A good idea. Oh, the letter gave the order in which the parrot speeches are to be taken. Here it is. Good. That should help. So, the speeches should go like this. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find it. Call on Sherlock Holmes. 222B or not 222B? That is the question. I am Blackbeard the Pirate, and I buried my treasure where dead men guard it ever. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Then Robin Hood, Sherlock Holmes, and Captain Kidd should say something. And finally Scarface. I never give a sucker an even break. But I don't understand it. It doesn't tell me a thing. Nothing at all. If we could get the three missing parts of the message, they might shed some light on what puzzles us. Without them, we can do nothing. I have an idea. We have the parrots, but they won't talk. Why don't we take them to Mr. Sanchez? He helped John Silver train them. They may talk for him. That's a very good idea. And once we have all the messages, I'm sure Jupiter Jones could work out what they mean. Quickly, then. Let's take these parrots over to Mr. Sanchez right away. Stand where you are and do not move. I am an excellent shot. You can eat. May we? It is I. Adams, get the parrots and take them to the car. Lester, 
Tap these interfering people so they cannot follow us. Okay, okay Mr. Hogan. Hogan. You'll never get away with this. Oh, but I shall. Now that I have the parts and all that you have written down, I shall get away with everything. <laughs> It was fortunate Huguenet and his gunmen didn't make too good a job of tying you up, Bob. I would have had no idea where you and Pete were. They didn't bother too much, Duke. They just wanted time to get away with the parents. If only they hadn't taken the parents, I'm sure we could have got them to talk. We don't need the other parents. What? While you've been on your exciting adventures, I've been listening to Blackbeard here. He's a very clever bird. He hasn't only learned his speech, he's learned all the others, too. What? Robin Hood and Sherlock Holmes? Yes, and Captain Kidd. Listen, I'll start him off. Little Bo Peep. Ah! Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find it. Ah! Call on Sherlock Holmes. Two, 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 B? Or not two, 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 B? That is the question. Ah! I'm Blackbeard the Pirate. And I've buried my treasure where dead men guard it ever. Ah, yo ho ho on the bottle of rum. I shot an arrow as a test. A hundred paces shot it west. That was Robin Hood. You know my methods, Watson. Ah, three sevens lead to thirty. That must have been Sherlock Holmes. Look under the stones beyond the bones for the box that has no locks. Ark! I suppose that was Captain Kidd. Yes. I never give a sucker an even break, and that's a lead pipe cinch. Ark! That's it, all right. The whole message. You clever old Blackbeard. I'm Blackbeard the pirate. Ark! Now there's just one thing left. Just one teensy weensy little thing. What's that, Pete? All we have to do is figure out what the message means. Oh, yeah. Well, while you two have been enjoying yourselves getting tied up with Mr. Claudius, I think I have solved the message. What? You know what it all means? Part of it. The first part. Blackbeard's own message tells us where the treasure is. Where dead men guard it ever. That must be a graveyard. Could be. But where? Well, the first part of the message, Little Bo Peep, obviously refers to the painting. It was of a shepherdess, you told me. But what about the rest of the speech? Call on Sherlock Holmes. Do you notice anything odd about that? Sherlock Holmes is just a character in a book. We can't call him in on the case. That's just it. The message doesn't say call in Sherlock Holmes. It says call on Sherlock Holmes. Call on him at his house. And where did he live? London. In Baker Street, in London. Yes. So to call on him, we'd have to go to Baker Street. But look at part two of the message. A very famous line of Shakespeare. But the parrot was taught to stutter. Toot, 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 be. Or not toot, 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 be. Did you get it? Toot, 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 be. 222 B Baker Street. Gleeps, an address. Of a graveyard? I went through all the books in our reference library, and I finally found that in the town of Marita Valley, there's an old disused graveyard at the corner of Baker and Valley Streets, and the address of the service entrance is 222B Baker Street. Whiskers, Jupe. What about the rest of the message? Have you figured that out, too? No. The rest of the message consists of directions to find the actual spot once we've reached the graveyard. We have to go there to puzzle them out. Tomorrow morning. We'll go first thing in the car. Well, Mr. Huguenet is probably figuring out the message, too, at this very moment. We can't waste any time. We have to go there immediately. Tonight. Bob, phone for Worthington and the Rolls. Pete, look at the flashlights. We're off to Marita Valley to find that deserted graveyard.